last few months have been quite challenging and interesting for agencies. Let me try and give it some perspective in terms of the operations, the impact on the staff, the impact on the business, both short term and long term. Now, as soon as the lockdown was announced, we had to ensure and prioritize that business is running as usual, commitments made to clients were kept, and for that to happen, the cohesive ways of working across offices had to continue. And that is where I think some amount of advanced planning on our part helped. We had already invested in a platform that is meant to be a collaborative virtual workspace. So how we were managing operations then to now, the transition has been pretty seamless. And I'm sure that most agencies who would have invested in something similar would have benefited in this period. And it is going to help us in the long run too. The uncertainty however started as soon as the second phase was announced. We felt this lockdown is going to continue for a while and there will be an impact on the business. So some of the projects that were supposed to be in execution were suddenly on hold. And some of them were cancelled altogether because they were meant for the April, June, April, May, June period. So having lost some amount of time in the first phase of the lockdown and the second lockdown phase also being announced, it didn't make any logical sense, I'm sure, to continue some of those projects. Clients where the offline sales were primarily were hugely impacted. And the rollback of certain projects in that segment is fairly understandable. But there, were, there are also sectors where the impact was not felt. In fact, they have registered growth and luckily for us, we have got quite a few clients in that segment. In fact, we are in the, we are in the uh, process of scaling up operations for them because that is how business has progressed over the last few months. So that, that, that's been a silver lining of sorts for us. So some of things are manageable, but having said that, has there been an impact on the business? Yes, I think it's, a, it's to the tune of nearly 10%. And if the unlock happens in time, which I'm fairly optimistic uh, should happen, as per what the indications are, then we feel the impact for the whole year also will not be more than 10 to 15 percent. Now, clients have already said that once the unlock is complete and business is back to normal, the spends will also be back to normal. So, uh, but I'm, uh, but you know, there are agencies uh, who have been hugely impacted because they've got clients who fall in the impacted categories. And there, the drop in business, I think, is much, much higher. But last few months, I think, has also been extremely tricky in managing the apprehension, apprehensions uh, of the teams uh, in total. So, uh, with salary cuts and uh, downsizing uh, news coming from all quarters, including advertising, I'm sure it's not been easy on the teams at all. But some amount of fiscal prudence on our part kind of uh, helped us. And uh, we have continued unaffected. There has been no salary cuts no downsizing at 21 North at all. We are independent, so we don't have any higher ups to answer to. So even if you are eating into our profits and our reserves, we are fairly, we are, we are good with it, we are fine with it. I would much rather keep it that way. So let's see, I'm quite optimistic and hopeful that uh, things will be back to normal. And, uh,